And please take out your text for closed reading if you have it. Um, and you can turn to page four. We're going to be looking at Here Boy again. If you don't have it, you can follow along and listen and learn, as I often say. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about um, first person narrative point of view. And there's that one word that always lets us know this is a first person narrative point of view in writing, and that word is right there the word I. That lets us know that this is a first person point of view in a story. Um, however, as we read this, we can could, we could see that, um, uh, that there's a difference between the narrators or the main characters' observations of reported or, you know, events that are happening and their interpretations inside and descriptions and feelings or, or judgments. So we're going to compare how, how that works out. And if you could um, turn to, uh, da, 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 let's go to paragraph, uh, where would be the best one? Let's go to paragraph two, and you might want to pause the video and get out your blue highlighter and a pencil, and um, we'll read this. And it says, um, the first sentence, and then the dog came running around the corner. That's an action, not a feeling or opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to underline actions in pencil. And then the dog came running around the corner. And that's an action that this narrator sees. Um, so let's continue on down. But the next three sentences include, what do they include? Let's find out. He was a big dog and ugly. Hmm. And he looked like he was having a real good time. Now, are those um, opinions? Yeah. There's, dog might not be that big. Maybe big compared to her. And it might not be an ugly dog. Maybe she thinks it's ugly. And maybe he's not having a good time. But that's her interpretation, Opal's interpretation. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it in blue. He was a big dog and ugly, and he looked like he was having a real good time. All right? So um, we can see how there's a difference between um, uh, what she's seeing and how she feels about it. She sees the dog running around the corner, and then she makes these observations about the dog. He's a big dog, an ugly dog. And he looks like he's having a really good time. The next sentence is another observation. Let's see that. His tongue was hanging out and he was wagging his tail. Well, that's an observation. That's not an opinion. We're going to underline that in pencil. And, that, and that's, that's exactly what's happening. His tongue was hanging out and wagging his tail. So there's, there's no opinion or a, a judgment there. It's just an observation. Um, then the next sentence, she says, he skidded to a stop and smiled right at me. Well, that's really just kind of her opinion, isn't it? Because dogs really don't smile. So he skidded to a stop. That really happens. That's something. But then we're going to put in blue, smiled right at me. Okay? Because that's really not what a dog does. It's Opal's interpretation of the dog. She thinks he has a friendly personality. All right. So we're going to continue on like this, talking about what she's observing and what she's interpreting. Okay. Um, and we'll, we'll just continue reading. I never before in my life seen a dog smile, but that is what he did. He pulled back his lips and showed me all his teeth. Then he wagged his tail so hard that he knocked some oranges off a display. And they went rolling everywhere, mixing in with the tomatoes and onions and green peppers. So let's underline this because he wagged his tail so hard that he knocked some oranges off a display. And they went rolling everywhere, mixing in with the tomatoes, red onions, and green peppers. Here is still more of her opinions. I never before in my life seen a dog smile, but that is what he did. He pulled back his lips and showed all of his teeth. So that might not be a smile to somebody else. That might be kind of scary to somebody else. All right. So that's her opinion. But this really happened. He wagged his tail. What really happened in the story? And knocked the oranges off. 
So we can see that, that that's her um, uh, interpretation, and that is what's really happening. So the next part, it says the manager screamed, somebody grabbed the dog. That's not a, an opinion or a judgment. That's just what happens. Turn the paper over. The dog went running over to the manager, wagging his tail. And we'll underline that, but we're going to highlight and smile. He stood up on his hind legs. That really happened. You could tell that all he wanted to do was get face to face with the manager and thank him for the good time he was having in the produce department, but somehow he ended up knocking the manager over. Well, this is an opinion, right? You could tell that all he wanted to do was get face to face with the manager and thank him for the good time he was having in the produce department. But then what really happened, I mean, that's her interpretation, somehow he ended up knocking the manager over. Okay. Then once again she says, and the man or not once again, she says, and the manager must have been having a bad day. Well, she doesn't know that for sure. She's making that observation, that, uh, that opinion, that interpretation. Because lying there on the floor, right in front of everybody, he started to cry. Well, that is what she's observing. The long the dog leaned over him, real concern, and licked his face. So what part of this is an opinion? And what part of it is just an observation? So think about that. Well, I could see that the dog leaned over him and licked his face could really happen, but I don't know if he was real concerned. That's, that's Opal's interpretation of what's going on. Please, said the manager, somebody call the pound. Well, we can underline that because that's what she's observing. And then, wait a minute, and there's that big word again, I hollered, that's my dog, don't call the police. All the Winn-Dixie um, employees turned around and looked at me, and I knew I had done something big. Well, where's the opinion here? Well, I knew I had done something big. That's an opinion. Maybe she didn't do something big, but all the Winn-Dixie employees turned around and looked at me. That happened. And maybe stupid, too. Well, that's uh, a judgment, too. I did something stupid. But I couldn't help it. I couldn't let that dog go to the pound. Here, boy, I said. So, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't let that dog go to the pound. Those are her feelings, her, how she's feeling about something. So, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't let the dog go to the pound. And then she says, here, boy. She says, here, boy, I said. And once again, that's a narrative. So that's a, a very nice little, remember, we were reading that with Mrs. Evans in the library? Because of Wendix. Dix. Oh, Mr. Leggett. Because of one Dixie is one of my favorite books. Well, uh, math mud, I'm so glad you joined us for language arts. You only usually join us for math. Yes, but I heard that you were going to be reading because of Win Dixie. Yeah, and that's why you decided to show up? That's exactly why I decided to show up. Well, what did you learn from the lesson? Well, I learned that the word I is used when you're writing from a first person point of view, a, a narrative, if you will. Well, exactly so. A narrative point of view is what we call it. So the word I comes in. What else did you learn? Well, when people are writing from first person point of view, they can write down what they observe, like uh, the dog wagging his tail, and they can write down what they feel, like oh, their opinions, like uh, he was a big and ugly dog. But I don't think there are any ugly dogs. No, I don't think so either, Matt. Mike, you wonderful little pup. Arr, arr, arr. So um, you learned quite a few things today then. Yes, I did. And maybe you can come by to help us with math tomorrow. We'll be learning about subtractions, uh, adding, uh, excuse me, adding fractions. Oh, that sounds marvelous, but there'll be no parentheses, will there? No, but you can still help out. Okay, you can count me in. All right, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson today on analyzing first person narrative point of view. And we will see you tomorrow.